Folks, by the time you watch this video, the story that I'm about to talk about is kind of old, but the reality of it is it's still remarkably significant because the title of the story is very simple. It says China's Xi Jinping arrives in Moscow for state visit for a series of talks with Putin. Now, folks, this has been a bit consequential for a lot of people as they've been examining the potential ramifications of this. As a matter of fact, the next video that you're probably going to watch is me talking about how uh, Russia is cozying up with China, and that becomes something that is also important for us to have a conversation concerning. But the whole point of this conversation is to give to you some data points that a lot of people might not necessarily be considering. Perhaps the most significant of the data points is that there has been an international criminal court warrant that has been issued for the arrest of Putin. Nice try. They're not going to be able to do that. And let me just simply say this. I am not an apologist for Putin, but what I am continuing to say is that if you read the Bible and you allowed the word of God to guide your perspective on foreign policy and what would be happening in the future, you would have a much better grasp on the things that we look at from day to day. So let me help you connect the dots, which quite frankly, you guys are a brilliant audience, and the reality of it is many of you have already connected the dots, and what I'm about to tell you is something that you're probably already thinking, but it is worth mentioning yet what again, and here's the fact. Did I say yet what again? I meant to say yet once again. <laughs> anyway, it is worthwhile mentioning this because if we take a moment to understand the full ramifications of what it means for Russia to continue around in the region, in Asia, Asia Minor, in the Middle East, it goes to demonstrate the power that Russia has, the influence. Remember, the United States of America is not the big game player anymore in the Middle East, certainly not in Asia Minor, and undoubtedly no longer in Asia. As a matter of fact, China has been very quick to jump on the bandwagon with Russia in order to disrespect the United States of America, knowing and understanding that they're not the ones that they need to be paying attention to right now. They're all paying attention to Russia. All eyes on Russia. And here's the part that's even more interesting. As all of those eyes are on Russia right now, so many other eyes are being taken off of Israel when in reality the two major players in this is going to be Israel and Russia. China is engaging in conversations with Putin because they are looking for direction in navigating through the insanity that they are about to face, whether it be through economics, whether it be through geopolitics, whether it be through the military incursionary force that they're thinking about bringing into Taiwan. It doesn't matter. The reality of it is what we are seeing is another leading indicator that Russia is growing in influence. It's plain and simple. The Bible is right. We need to wake up and see that, guys. Listen, the Bible will always serve as the best guiding light to understand the things that are going on right now and in the future. There you have it. God bless you.